Welcome to story time today. What book were we going to read? Do you remember? Good job. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a cello. How silly. This book is written by Barbara S. Garrell and illustrated by John O'Brien. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a cello. I don't know why he swallowed a cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a harp. Not so sharp to swallow a harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a sax. Hard to relax when you swallow a sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a fiddle. No time to twiddle when you swallow a fiddle. He swallowed the fiddle to jam with the sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a cymbal. Not so nimble to swallow a cymbal. He swallowed the cymbal to jam with the fiddle. He swallowed the fiddle to jam with the sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a flute. That was a hoot to swallow a flute. He swallowed the flute to jam with a cymbal. He swallowed the cymbal to jam with the fiddle. He swallowed the fiddle to jam with the sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a kazoo. Strange thing to do to swallow a kazoo. He swallowed the kazoo to jam with the flute. He swallowed the flute to jam with the cymbal. He swallowed the cymbal to jam with the fiddle. He swallowed the fiddle to jam with the sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a bell. The teeniest, tiniest, petite casa bell. Well, his belly, it wiggled. Can you wiggle your bellies? His belly did shake, shake your bellies. It rumbled and tumbled, it quivered and quaked, it rocked and it rolled, it swiveled and swelled, and all on account of that wee little bell. He, he belched and he burped, he turned shades of yellow. It seemed he was doomed, a very shy fellow. He weaved and he wallowed, he stomped and he yelled. And the next thing he knew, out jingled the bell. Then out buzzed the kazoo, out tooted the flute, out crashed the cymbal, that noisy galoot. Out flashed the fiddle, out sizzled the sax, out strummed the harp, he played to the max. Well, he bellowed that fellow, that fellow did bellow. And at last but not least, out to chide ch ch the cello. The end. Now in that story, we had lots of words that rhymed. Now, we're gonna explore some of them. The first set of words that rhymed were bellow, cello, and bellow. What, word, what letters do all three words have in common? They have an E-L-L-O-W, each one. E-L-L-O-W, E-L-L-O-W. So they all make the same sound at the end, even though the first letter changes, the other letters are exactly the same, so they make the same sound. Bellow, cello, bellow. The next set of words that rhymed were harp and sharp. What letters do these two words have in common? A, R, P, A, R, P. Harp, sharp. Then we have sax and relax. This 
set of words only have two letters in common, the A and the X, A and X. But they still rhyme because at the end they make the same sound. Then we have symbol and nimble. Now the tricky thing with this set of words is they don't share letters in common. Well, they do have some letters in common, but they're not in the same order. But they still rhyme because they, even though the letters are different from each other in each word, they still make the same sound. And that's all that matters when you're rhyming words is you want the sound at the end of each word to be the same. Symbol, nimble. And then we have, again, another set of words that rhyme, but don't share letters in common. Flute, hoot. Well, I hope you all enjoyed story time today, and I will see you very soon when we get to explore the musical notes on the piano. See you later, alligators.